in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Throwing is Wilson. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Von Miller leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Wilson going for Metcalf on the deep ball and that's caught inside the 35 a big connection on that one 35 yards so the big play changes the complexion of things here's first and 10 just outside the 30 to throw is Wilson escaping the pressure right and he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. On second and 12, Wilson. Blitz coming and down he goes. Von Miller picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. My rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And the Rams are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid in the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now it's Stafford. 
And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Daryl Taylor, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. No score after one on EA Sports. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Off a of play action. Here's Stafford. Going up top for Cup. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield, but he was under a lot of duress. And I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. Returnable for Lockett. Said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Now on second and 13, Wilson eluding the pressure right. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. And all the way in, touchdown, Seattle. D.K. Metcalf, 73 yards. And the Seahawks on just two plays have taken the lead. Myers connects on the PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, We'll call this play significant. Stafford on first down. They'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. slide to a stop he does have the first down partner he was going through his progressions not there not there after about the third one he decided he better pull it down and run for it and he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure meanwhile Stafford's throw here hauled in by cup and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 From down at the 12, it's first and 10. A give, this is Michelle. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. 
The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. On the handoff, it's Michelle. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. And they will run it with Michelle. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Sony Michelle. Fine work there on the touchdown run. And the Rams are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Throwing again on second down. Wilson. Catch is made by Metcalf. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that makes the score 14-7. To the touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Set to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line as they take over with just 17 seconds left before the break. Rolling to his... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And that was Carlos Dunlap who got in to take him down. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. Final shot before the break, Stafford. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. This time they stay on the ground, and they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. 
Set to begin their next drive, the Rams' offense at the line. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Another carry for Michelle on second down. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Now a first down throw, Stafford. They'll check this one down to Michelle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. On second down, Michelle. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. 40 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll run with Michelle. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. To throw is Stafford. Steps away to his left. Got a man. It's Higby complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So the illegal forward pass also costs him a down. And now it's second and long. Following the penalty, Michelle. Three yards is the pickup, but it leaves him still needing 11 here on third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Flush to his right, and that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, <laughs> right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. On first down, Wilson. Buying time to his left. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. That's caught at the 25. And down to the 20. It's a big play there for Seattle. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure's good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let a man come open, and the connection leads to a big play. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Seven yards, the pick up there. To throw again on second down. Wilson flushed out right. He'll find Everett there complete. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Second and goal from inside the five. Penny. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. And they call it a loss of a yard there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Now Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And can they take advantage? Their defense got the fourth down stop, and now they're hoping to try to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. After the interception, here's Wilson. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 15. And the Rams are right back in this football game. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter what point, you gotta be super careful. Gotta be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Stafford. Forced out to his left. To Michelle on the dump off. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth quarter lead. Seahawks have picked it up, and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. So now it appears they're going to accept the penalty, which means take away the interception. Also means keep your defense on the field. Don't understand this one one bit. They run it with Carson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Wilson to throw. 
Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Wilson. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 24. Oh my, how the tables have turned now. They were trying to salt this one away, but that interception, potentially a game changer. And I just got to think to myself, at this point of the game, I know you've been aggressive. I know that you're Emma. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. Second and 16. Now it's Stafford. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And what a return as he brings us with all the way back to the 25-yard line. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And the Rams are right back in this football game. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, Got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Stafford. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. And he will get out of bounds to stop the clock as he picks up maybe eight, and that's all. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. The interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Second and two. Stafford now to throw. And Stafford for the third time is intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. And that trip to the end zone, I think that's the dagger. Handshakes all around now. Everybody looking at each other and starting to celebrate a big victory. Myers connects on the PAT, and that makes it a 21-10 game. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. On oh, the return is Brandon Powell. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. One last throw here for Stanford. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So the victory here for Seattle. And you've got to say, CD, it 